Good morning children. Welcome to standard 3. Today I am going to teach you mental math. Children, today we shall see some of the mixed questions that are in your syllabus of mental maths. As you can see children, I have written few questions on the board. Come children, let's solve it together. The first question, write ordinal number of 27 in words. Now, before we solve it, children, what are ordinal numbers? Ordinal numbers are numbers that tells us the position of something in a list. For example, first, second, third, etc. Come children, let's solve the question. Now, as you can see, we have to write in words. Words means you have to write the spelling. So, 27 in ordinal number becomes 27th. We have to write TH in the last. Spelling of 20 and 7th. S-E-V-E-N. And in the last, we'll just add T-H. Moving on to the next topic. Next question, children. Write the sum of the predecessor and successor of 1240. Now, before moving on, children, what is predecessor and successor? You have already studied in your previous class. Predecessor is the number that comes just before a given number. And what is successor, children? Successor is the number that comes right after the given number. Come on, children. Let's solve the question. As you can see, the question says sum. Sum means we add the predecessor and the successor. Now, 1240 is the given number. P stands for predecessor. So, the predecessor of 1240 will be 1,239. Then we have to write the successor, the number after the given number. So after the number 1,240 will be 1,241. Now children, what do we have to do? The next step, we need to add both predecessor and successor. Let's add up children. From the ones place, 1 plus 9. 9 plus 1 will be 10. So we'll just write 0. Carry over 1. In tens place, 4 plus 3. 4 plus 3 will be 7. Plus the carry over 1, we'll get 8. Next, 2 plus 2 will be 4. And then 1 plus 1, answer will be 2. So the answer of the successor and the predecessor will be 2480. Moving on to the next question children. Pay attention. Write in expanded form of 6708. Before that children, what is expanded form and what is short form? A number is said to be in expanded form when it is broken up according to its place value. And when we write a number using digit, it is said to be in short form. Come on children, let's solve. So, to write in expanded form, we'll first see the place value. So, 6. 6 is in the place of thousands. So, we'll write 6 thousands. Plus 7 is in the place of hundreds. So, 7 hundreds. Plus, now you can see children, in zero, in tens place, nothing is given. So, we'll just write zero tens. And in ones place, we have eight ones. So, plus eight ones. So, we have written 6708 in expanded form. Moving on to the last question, children. Let's see what is the last question. Rearrange in ascending order. So, 
What is ascending order and descending order children? Well, we arrange a number from smaller number to the largest number. It is said to be an ascending order. And when we write numbers from the largest number to the smallest number, it is said to be a descending order. Let's write the answer children. As you can see, few numbers are given here. 604, 383, 273 and 938. Ascending order. So first we'll write the smallest number. Which is the smallest number here children? Yes, 273. Come on, let's write. 273. Now, after 273, which is the largest, larger number? 383. Next, 604. And which is the largest number here, children? Yes, 938. Let's write. 938. Now, we have arranged the number in ascending order. So children let's quickly recap what did we study today. We saw mixed questions in that we saw ordinal number, predecessor and successor, expanded form, short form and what is ascending order and descending order. Related to these children worksheets will be uploaded on the school website. Kindly go through it and study well. Thank you children.